Well, Victoria's mayor wants to see more late-night bus service continuing in the capital through the summer. Dean Fortin says he thinks the service would be well used by people who are downtown uh, taking in nightclub entertainment and by those who are employed in the service industry. A three-month pilot program, which cost more than $120,000, is slated to come to an end this weekend. BC Transit says staff will now evaluate the late-night trial, and the Transit Commission will come to a decision in May as to whether to reinstate or stop the service. Eric Thompson has the story, new at 6. People who rely on transit late in the evening on Friday and Saturday will soon have to make other arrangements. This weekend, a three-month pilot program comes to an end. As part of the trial, buses on three routes have been running until 1.30 a.m. on weekends. The service has been popular with transit riders visiting downtown for entertainment, as well as those who work in the service industry. A lot of what we're hearing from the, the restaurant associations and others is that their employees need a ride home and have been utilizing it. Late night bus service has been offered on the number 6, which runs from Esquimalt to Royal Oak, and on the 4 and 14, both serving the University of Victoria. I don't have a car, and so um, I've been stranded up on campus a couple times. If buses would be available later than 12, I think this would be great. I used it to go to work for, or I, well, I didn't when there wasn't late night buses, and I had to take taxis twice, like to and from work, so buses for work could be really handy. Over the next few weeks, BC Transit will prepare a report using data gathered from the three-month trial program. It will then present that report to the Victoria Transit Commission at its next meeting, May 25th. I think there's opportunities to say, where did we get the best bang for our dollar? We know the university runs were running, uh, leaving full. Uh, we have to see where the other runs are. BC Transit says there isn't much information available on the trial right now, and a company spokeswoman did not want to comment on camera at this time. The late-night trial cost about $121,000, money well spent, according to the mayor, who sits on the Victoria Transit Commission. Fortin says he was hoping transit's fare increase, which takes effect April 1st, would cover the cost of implementing continued late-night service. I frankly thought that was part of the late-night was uh, covered in that fare increase. We need to make sure that that's crucial for us. The mayor says the Victoria Transit Commission will have to discuss which runs are the most cost-effective. He's hoping the final decision will result in late-night bus service through the summer. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News.